and welcome to this short tutorial taking a look at the new Roto tools available in Silhouette version 7. And we're going to start by looking at the new magnetic mode in the reshape tool. So let's move into the Roto workspace and have, have a look at our object list here. And you can see I've got my leg broken up into four separate shapes. I have the shin, the ankle, the shoe, and the thigh. And if we take a look at our clip here, you can see it's already moving along. And that's because I've got this layer tracked in. I've actually tracked in on the foot layer already. And that's helping to just drive the transform of this layer. And if I come up to the viewer, up to the stabilize, I can actually just stabilize around that tracked layer as well. So that's just gonna help us to isolate out the movement of the leg a little bit easier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to my toolbar and I'm just gonna click twice on the reshape tool and that's gonna turn us into the magnetic mode of reshape. I can also use RR as a keyboard shortcut. And I'm gonna select my shoe, my ankle and my shin. And we're gonna start working on these. I'm not gonna look at the thigh right now because the movement of the thigh is very different to the movement of the lower leg, which is all connected at the knee there. So let's just scrub along and have a look at my logical frame to work with. So the bit where the movement stops and it's gonna be around about here. So now if I select my points, I can use the new magnetic mode to quickly move this area into shape because what the magnetic mode does is it moves the points closest to where I'm dragging a lot further than the ones further away from where I'm dragging. Take a look at the point down at the bottom of the shoe here. As I drag this along, they hardly move at all. And what this allows me to do is very quickly get this shape into place. Whilst using one of the most important rules when rotoscoping, moving objects as a group rather than individual points wherever possible. Now, I can easily just come in and move those last, last points back again just by hitting R to move us into the normal reshape mode. That's moving that nicely. So if I come over around about here, just before the next movement, I'll again use my magnetic reshape tool, select the points I'm interested in, and move those along. And in this case, I haven't selected the bottom of the shoe here because that's gonna be static, but everything else just moves into place. And I move along there. Again, bringing this area into line. And do the same sort of thing along the rest of the clip. And you'll see just how easy and fast it is to work with this new magnetic reshape. And wherever I need to, I can always just move back into the normal reshape tool just to get in those last small fine details. Just move that into place. And of course, I've still got the option of just using the regular transform tool to bring those into place as well. So now we just have one more tool in our Roto Arsenal to make what could be a long, tedious process that much easier. And you can see that even though we still haven't got this 100% in place, just in a couple of minutes, we've done this quite tricky Roto movement. Where we've got movement of the camera plus movement in the legs as well. Now, in addition to this magnetic mode reshape, we also have another couple of tools that we can use to combine or extract shapes with our Roto node now. So it could be that I've created a shape that's actually far too complex to uh, conveniently work with. In this case, I've tried to Roto both of these wheels here, and if they're moving independently, then that's not going to work. So instead of just scrapping everything and starting again, what I can do is I can select these points that I want to break out into a new shape, right click on them and go extract shape. And what this will do is it will turn that single shape into two separate shapes for me. 
so that I haven't lost all of the work that I've been doing with it. Because sometimes you'll think that you can get away with making one uh, slightly more complex image and a little bit further down the line, you realize that actually they should have been broken out into two shapes. So the extract shape here allows us to take those selected points and break them off into a new closed shape. There'll also be other times where you might want to combine shapes together as well. So if I bring in uh, this back area of the foot and this front area of the foot, let's zoom in a little bit here, what I can do is I can combine these shapes together. So all I need to do is select the points that I want from the source, which is going to be the bottom of the foot. I'm going to uh, shift click onto the other shape and select and shift select the areas that I want to target and just right click and go combine shapes. And that will add those points into my other shape here, creating one combined shape for me where the selected points from the source shape are copied between the two selected points in my target shape. So with the magnetic reshape tool, the combined shapes and the extract shapes, those are a few of the new roto tools we have available to us in Silhouette 7. <laughs>